So in your classes, or even in my videos, you may have heard someone say that you can't divide by zero. And the question is, why? Why can't I divide by zero? What is so wrong about dividing by zero? Is it that someone just decided I couldn't, or is there a good reason for it? Well, I'll show you that there is a good reason why you can't divide by zero. The best way to think about division is just as the opposite of multiplication. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say we're trying to do six divided by two. Well, of course, you all know the 6 divided by 2 is 3, but for right now, just bear with me. Let's just write that as equals x. So if you walked up to some young kid on the street who knew how to multiply but didn't know how to divide yet, and you were trying to explain how to do 6 divided by 2, what you could tell them is all that this means is that 2 times some number equals 6. And you could ask them, 2 times what number equals 6? And of course, they would tell you that x equals 3. Okay. So let's try that same thing, but instead of divided by 2, let's go ahead and do 6 divided by 0. What happens? Okay, so we explained to the child that this means that 0 times some number equals 6, and you ask them 0 times what number equals 6, and of course there's no number, right? I can't plug in any number so that 0 times that number will equal 6. So since there is nothing that will work for x, what we say is that 6 divided by 0 is undefined. OK, so at this point, if you're quick, you might look at this and say, hey, wait a second, though. You're right. 0 times nothing gives me 6, but 0 times something would give me 0. So what if I did 0 divided by 0? Does that work? So let's try the same thing. Let's write out what this means. So this means that 0 times x equals 0. And you go, aha, there's an answer for that. x equals 0. And that's true. The problem is there's lots of answers. In fact, if I plugged in x equaled 1, 0 times 1 is also 0. Obviously, you can plug in any number you want. It will always multiply to give you 0. But the problem is, for math, we always want things to give us one answer. Right? If you and your friend are both doing the same problem, you should always get the same answer for it if you're doing it correctly. So since there is no single value of x that works, again, we have to say that 0 divided by 0 is undefined. And that's why we can't divide by 0. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or any other things you want me to talk about, please feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to get to that. Thanks, everyone.